Welcome to the very first edition of CCM Reports, CatholicCyberMilitia.com's hard-hitting, yet slightly cheesy, commentary on the ongoing crisis in our beloved Roman Catholic Church. CCM, that's short for Catholic Cyber Militia. Get it? On to the news. File this one under, gee, we never saw that coming. Chinese bishop to be subjected to isolation and indoctrination by Chinese authorities. This story comes to us from the English edition of Asia News. Sorry if I get these pronunciations wrong. It's like the Chinese have a different word for everything. Wen Zhao's bishop, Zhao Zhumin, taken by police. Red Chinese police have arrested Wen Zhao's bishop, Zhao Zhumin. According to Bernardo Severella, correspondent for Asia News, quote, he will be subjected to isolation and indoctrination for 10 to 15 days. The Church asks the faithful worldwide for prayers. Bishop Zhao is recognized by the Holy See, but not by the government. In the diocese, official and underground communities are united. Official priests banned from visiting the tombs of underground priests and bishop. Prohibition of participation in Mass and Catechism for young people under 18 years. The Church must remain independent despite Sino-Vatican agreement. So reports Mr. Severella. Okay. Gee, Holy Father, did you see this coming? Did you hear that sickening thump, thump, thump sound? That's Bishop Zhao being thrown under the bus. And there's going to be more and more of this. Why did the Vatican betray the faithful of China to the Red Chinese? What kind of deal did Pope Francis's wonder boy, Theodore McCarrick, work out when he was globetrotting to Beijing despite orders by the previous pope for him to stay put and pray for his past crimes? The People's Republic of China is very happy with Pope Francis. Why, he gave away the whole store in those negotiations. We own the Catholic Church in China lock, stock, and barrel. While Bishop Zhao was being indoctrinated by the Chai Coms, the stooge bishops approved by the Red Chinese were whooping it up at the so-called Youth Synod. Go figure. There will be more stories like this. You can count on it. Pray for Bishop Zhao and the good people of his diocese. Pray for suffering China. Pray for those men in the Vatican.